Hi, uh, this is a short video about using stencils. Um, at Cerisa we quite often get questions about content in the um, MDF painting guidebook that we did and uh, one of the questions is, is can we actually see things in action? Um, and in the book it mentions using stencils to create brick textures, stone textures, rather than um, painting bricks or, or us actually etching the finish because sometimes you don't want a brick thing or a stone thing you want a mixture of a, the two so this short video is just a demonstration of what I actually do to, to use a brick stencil um, this is a small it's a 15 mil kit of a well-known church um, on a battlefield in North America um, and so here goes right what we have here I've base coated it grey because this church is actually a white white painted church um, and this is a mylar set stencil uh, we have our own coming out soon and uh, basically you can see they're all designed so that you can key in areas and the process is fairly simple I'm not going to lie it's uh, pretty good uh, you just line it up as you go as you notice and then I'm using a paler grey and for me it is the same as dry brushing I'm just uh, using a stencil to stop me making a mess and get it where I want and we've also noticed that there were some shutters on this kit I'm not going to worry about painting over those at the moment because I will paint over those as I go so just as a you can see already quite quick bits there blotches over there doesn't really matter if it's coming through you'll see why I'm gonna just turn that round interlock it into the spaces making sure that it's all lined up and yeah it's not dead straight it's not perfect and again like so. so you can see how it fades through that's getting you the light and dark sort of shade pattern so you see very quickly you've got a brick it's not matched perfectly which is deliberate without cleaning anything without cleaning the brush line it up again you can see I'm gonna possibly just make it offline put it up very slightly you can see why it didn't matter that it was using the white clean some of the grey out like just work through and then you can see again different textures different shading I've moved it up and down it's probably because of this that and the other so I'm going to carry on with this and we can come back and you can have a look at it in a more complete finish I will paint in the shutters and the uh, lintels and sills and then I'll add the shading to it in the next video just to give you a feel for how all these techniques can work together I'll use some crayons pencils for the roof just to give it a little bit more depth and feel
I shall carry on and uh, pop in later. Bye.